Hello, hello everybody. This is Moni with Flowers by the Bunch. Today I have an arrangement that has been ordered. My customer brought in this beautiful container. It's a glass container that has a gold um, rim around the base. It's so pretty. What I've done, it's got a very large mouth. And what I mean by that is the opening of the base is from the tips of my fingers to the base of my hand. And so, it's a very wide mouth. So, to keep my flowers in place, I have taped a grid. Now, I realize I've taped it with green tape. It's gonna be covered with all the flowers and greenery, so it's not a problem. If you want to tape it with clear tape, that's a wonderful idea. Um, but today, I didn't have the clear tape, so we taped it with green. I'm gonna start out with some white hydrangeas. Now this is going to be a low compact centerpiece to be used on her table for a luncheon. And so I'm gonna take my hydrangeas, I'm gonna cut them short and tuck them right into the grid of this base. I'm leaving a little bit of the foliage on these hydrangeas because these hydrangeas are going directly in water, um, I feel like they will be okay if I leave a little bit of the foliage on. All right, so I've got my hydrangeas in place. Next, I'm gonna come in with these beautiful peonies. And so look how pretty that big, pretty peony is. It's a kind of a fuchsia color peony. So I'm gonna take those, I'm gonna cut them kind of short, tuck those right into that arrangement, into that grid. And you can kind of see how pretty that flower is. These are some of my favorite, so, so pretty. Now, I tell you with peonies, if you have a hard time getting them to open, if you'll take all of the foliage off, give them a good cut, and tuck them in um, slightly warm water, they're gonna open up for you. Um, for some reason, something about pulling that foliage off helps that head get hydrated and they'll open up. Next, I'm gonna come in with some pink roses. Now these are what I would call, this color pink is what I would call kind of bubblegum pink. Now I'm gonna soften it up just a little bit. And the reason being, I don't love this color with this color. Um, I don't know why. So I'm just gonna take, this is um, Design Master Cream is the color of this paint. I'm gonna take it and just slightly pop that pink rose with a little bit of cream paint and it's just going to soften it. And I like it better softened. Now that is completely your preference. If you, um, if you don't have the paint, don't worry about it. If you like the colors together, that's great. For me, the reason I chose to pop it with just a little bit of cream is because I was given a swatch of material to match. Um, she has a really pretty little um, light, what am I trying to say? A really pretty table, um, table runner that she wanted me to kind of match. And so that's what I was going by when I decided to, um, to soften up those pink roses. So I'm just removing all of the foliage. Now you can see I am not, I am not wiring these roses. They're all cut off short and being tucked short down into this arrangement. So I'm not wiring all these roses. Okay. So there's my peonies, there's my hydrangeas, and my pink roses. Next, I'm gonna come in with a little bit of white caspia. And this caspia, it comes on one stem, and I am just taking it and just popping it apart and tucking it right in. So you can use, when you're making a low compact arrangement like this, you can use one stem and it go all the way through that arrangement. Alright, so I've got my caspia in. Next 
Next, I'm gonna come in with these pretty pink button moms. So see how pretty um, they match? They match that rose really nice. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take them, I'm gonna grab these snips. I'm gonna cut it in two separate pieces. So I'm gonna take it, this is one, and then this is my second piece, okay? Tuck that right in. And do the same with the second stem. of eucalyptus and it is beautiful. It's just such a pretty uke. I love its color and I love the fact that I get three different insertions from one stem. So I'm just going to take that. I cut it into three little pieces. I'm going to tuck it all the way around in this arrangement. Now the only thing about parfolia is it doesn't always come in in good condition. This happens to be in fantastic condition. Sometimes it dries out. I wonder, I don't know, I don't know if it's about the shipping, how it shipped, I'm not sure. But sometimes it comes in real dried out. Um, but this shipment was wonderful. A very good, very pretty. All right, so I've got my portfolio tucked in. Next, I'm going to come in with a little bit of Green Dragon. And you've seen me use um, Green Dragon before. It's such a pretty greenery and really works great as a filler flower. And I'm going to do the same. I'm just going to cut it up in pieces, in smaller pieces, and I'm going to be able to spread it out throughout this arrangement. Put a little more in here. Last, I'm gonna come in with a little bit of blue thistle. Finish with this dragon. Green dragon is some of our favorite. The only thing I don't love about green dragon is it doesn't hold up out of water. And I wish so badly it did. But you can't put it in corsages or big mirrors because it's just not going to hold up out of water. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add just a little bit of this blue thistle. Um, the table runner that she had had just a touch of blue. She didn't want very much, but oh, it's so pretty in here. Actually, it just makes this arrangement. have a few little places over here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn my arrangement and you can kind of see right here I've got a little bit of that green um, tape that's showing. So I'm going to take a little bit of this caspia and just come around just to make sure that we're covering, covering our tape. We don't want our tape to show. And I'll come back maybe with a little bit of um, extra greenery. But there you go, there is our beautiful centerpiece that will be used on her table for a luncheon. Guys, thank you so much for coming here today. I hope you have a wonderful day. If you liked this video, please subscribe to our channel and you can always follow us on all our social media that's listed down below. Thanks guys, have a great day.